All right, guys, we're back in the shop. We're gonna spend an hour today trying to get this wall insulated somewhere. I've got some insulation right here. We picked up some sheetrock from the Home Depot. We're gonna to try to start getting this insulated and sheetrocked because once we have this sheetrocked, I've got some um, uh, corrugated paneling behind the shop that I wanna get in here and up on the walls. So I'm going to put on some gloves and uh, we're just going to get to it. So, you're probably wondering, well, well, I thought we were working on the French cleat wall. Well, we are. There's so many things going on right now. Um, I have this huge pile of insulation behind me here, and it's in the way because I'm one of those people that starts a whole bunch of projects and finishes nothing. I'm famous for that. Um, my son, Mr. Dude with a Face, he wants to really get the welder up and running. So do I. This area here is the metal shop side. I'm trying to get this to where it's going to be safe and we don't burn down the shop when we're in here welding and grinding and, and eventually hopefully have an anvil in here and some kind of forge. I don't know what yet, what kind of forge we're going to go with, but, um, and it's cold. It's nine degrees tonight here. Um, so I really want to, uh, continue getting this insulation up and get this area back in order because I'm having to move everything from one side of the shop over to the other side of the shop so that I have the room to get the drywall in here and up. I'm gonna have to take this shelf down, but no worries, we're gonna probably move this shelf over onto the wood shop side of the, of the shop because I've got a lower level. I've got, my shop is two floors, a main level and an upper level. And down here, I have one side of it that I wanna dedicate to metalworking. And then I have another side over there that I wanna dedicate to woodworking and I'll put a metal door that divides the two areas. Um, so I've got to move everything out of here so I have room to continue getting up the insulation, which is going to be a noise barrier, um, as well as we'll have the drywall and then we'll have the corrugated steel up so that will help um, hopefully protect us from burning the place down. So that's why we're taking a little bit of a uh, recess from getting the French cleats done, but that is to come. Um, everything in good time. What I'm doing here is I'm marking out where the studs are. This will help me when I'm putting the screws in the drywall. I've just got a piece of OSB underneath here, and then I just measure it out, and I just come down a ways, and I make a cut, come down a ways, make a cut, come down a ways, make a cut, and I just do that all the way down. Uh, so this is bad insulation, not bad insulation, but bat insulation. So this stuff is already at 96 inches, which is nice because it fits these eight foot cavities. I just have to cut the width, which I'm doing now. I'm going to have to custom each piece in here because the gentleman and crew that built this shop they didn't do their layout their layout's not very consistent 
Some of the studs are on 16 inch centers, some of the studs are on 15 inch centers. Nothing is consistent. Like I said before in my other videos with like doing the floor, they finished this floor with the back end of a shovel. I don't know if a string line was ever snapped. Like I said, they floated this, they floated this out with, they floated this thing out with the back end of a shovel. It's terrible. Uh, but we'll get there and it will be good. An hour of time in the shop. That's just what I'm trying to get every week. Just one hour out here. This is R11. This is R11. It says it's uh, three and a half inches thick, 24 inches wide, 96 inches long. Um, it's also got a sound barrier or a noise reducer to it. So that's gonna help. Hopefully the neighbors will appreciate that when I'm banging on iron in here when we get the forge going. So with that being said, it's three and a half inches thick on the bat. These two by sixes are five and a half inches. So if I were to double it up, it'd be seven inches. It really, I had doubled it up, but it was out here quite profoundly. And when you put the sheetrock on there, all it's gonna do is compress the insulation. You don't want to compress the insulation. You're just wasting it at that point. So I'm just going to split the bat. I'm literally just going to peel it right down the center into two pieces. It can be, it can kind of get a little difficult on you, but if you're slow about it and you're just kind of careful what you're doing, you can keep it pretty, pretty even for the most, for the most part. Okay, so now I could just put up another inch or two on here so that way it's not being compressed and I'm not wasting insulation. I'm getting a little bit more in there, which will be nice. Again, like I said, this was free. So you got to work with what you got. Then I've got these scraps. I'm putting these scraps in the wall. And then I will put a full, a full facing behind it to help secure it in. So I'll keep insulating and I'll be back in a minute. All right, insulation's in. I'm glad we've got that insulation in. Now we're gonna hang two sheets of drywall. That's all I have, but uh, two sheets is better than no sheets. So I'm gonna just pin the drywall sheets up tonight. I'll finish uh, screwing them off another day because this hammer drill is kind of loud. It's late at night. I'm gonna respect my neighbors. I don't wanna be making a whole bunch of noise with the drill. So I'm gonna get these two sheets in here, pin them up with some of those screws that we pulled out from the shelving. And uh, then this will be ready to be screwed off tomorrow. Let's get the drywall. Alrighty guys, I've been out here tonight for probably 
oh, about two hours now. Um, had I not been recording, I probably could have gotten a lot more done um, quicker. Uh, but the recording process does take me a little bit of time, but I do like sharing the work that I get done um, here in the shop on the homestead. So I've got, uh, we got uh, almost 12 feet of insulation up. I just have a little bit, I just have two um, cavities to do over here, and then I'll be done insulating this wall. Grizzly sit. And then, um, Grizzly sit. Good boy. <laughs> You want attention, don't you? You just want attention. So, we've got two. Can I help you? Can I help you? Where's the get down? Sit. Sit. Good boy. Stay. So, I've got two cavities left to insulate. We've gotten two panels of four by eight sheets, half inch thick drywall up. I've just pinned it in. I'll get it nailed off or screwed off tomorrow. Um, we'll get those two cavities next time filled and the drywall up. I want to get this drywall finished so I can get the corrugated metal in here and the corrugated metal up. Then we'll put a strip of some uh, fire resistant caulk on the bottom just to help uh, prevent any sparks from getting underneath there and lighten this place up. So appreciate you watching. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a like uh, and stay tuned. Subscribe below for more upcoming events here on the shop in the homestead. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.